Let's get a closer look at the Nintendo Nook. What's up guys, I'm CJR. I'm starting a new series with this video called A Closer Look, where I basically give you a more in-depth look at a certain section in my game room. I thought, what better place to start than the Nintendo Nook? Um, I called this the Nintendo Nook a few years ago. It's basically a notched out area upstairs um, in our kitchen. We kind of have like a, I don't know, I guess I, it's like a little sun area where we have our dining room table and it falls through downstairs with a foundation. So it's created this like, indent. Um, it's a nook, basically. Uh, so I've dubbed this the Nintendo nook. This is where I have all my retro Nintendo stuff. It's actually now had to spill out the side a little bit, but I used to have it all contained in here. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, my Instagram link is in the description below, or you can just search CJR. Um, you'll see plenty of pictures of more in-depth stuff that I uh, post on Instagram. So if you want to go check that out, uh, feel free to follow the link in the description below. Um, so yeah, I'm going to switch camera angles here and we'll go through and I'll show you guys not every single game that's in the collection But I'll give you guys a better view of what's exactly in the Nintendo Nook. So let's go ahead and do it All right, so here it is. This is the Nintendo Nook just to give you guys some perspective of where the Nook falls in the game room um, Yeah, it's just kind of beside my main gaming area here where I have my main TV Got my lights set up here. This is where I do my main gaming, but uh Kind of to the left of that is the infamous Nintendo Nook. Um, if you guys want to see the full game room tour, I'll post, there'll be a link to it at the end of this video in uh, in kind of the end screen that will bring you to the full game room tour. Uh, I guess maybe we'll start in the center here. I went over this in the game room tour, but I'll just kind of do it again quickly. Starting from the bottom, Neo Geo Master System 2. We've got a Sega CDX, my GameCube, um, PlayStation, so it's not truly a Nintendo Nook, there are some other systems here. N64, Super Nintendo, and NES. So here's where the closer look comes in. I've got my, um, my EverDrive. It's not actually an EverDrive, this one's super hard to get out. I got this years ago. Uh, it runs on Compact Flash. I think it's from Retro USB. Um, basically it's an EverDrive for the NES. I have EverDrives for every system here. Super Nintendo, that's a cheap Chinese version. Same with the N64 one. Um, I think I got all these from uh, the cheap ones from China. I do have some official ones also. Um, I would really like to get the Neo Geo one. Super expensive though. So yeah, that's the systems. And then I have it uh, hooked up through this splitter box here. Lots of people like to know how I do this. I have them all labeled. For each system, I just have to click that button. So really easy to do. Uh, this TV is a 32 inch Sony Trinitron. I don't know the exact model number. It's pretty good. It's not one of the best, but uh, retro games look absolutely great on it. As you can see, I'm currently running Chrono Trigger. Um, let me see. Uh, here's my Super Nintendo collection. I think around 230 games in my Super Nintendo collection. Some of my boxed games. Some good ones, Super Metroid, Punch-Out, not in great shape. Um, I keep the games out of the box for now. I keep them on the shelf and then I keep the boxes kind of displayed separately. Uh, this Super Nintendo sign I got in a lot at a garage sale of a couple signs. It's an old uh, rental store sign, I believe. Some boxed Game Boy game stuff. Bunch of Pokemon games, Mario Worlds. I think I have almost all the Pokemon games boxed and complete. Wii Zapper, a couple of those um, battle pads that I got suckered into buying. I don't think I've ever really used them much. I don't even know if one or two of them are open. I've really toned down on buying stuff like that. Uh, this is Zelda, the Wind Waker HD, the Wii U. Uh, the 3DS uh, Majora's Mask Special Edition. One of my Game Boy cases there, really cool big plastic cases. A Super Famicom that I got from Japan for a really good price uh, several years ago. Love that system. Um, some random Nintendo figures here. These guys are actually from China. They're just knockoffs, but they're really nice ones. Uh, hiding back there, I should really find a better place for this. I should preface this by saying uh, it's a bit of a mess in here. I need to do some reorganizing, that's for sure. So. Um, it's not in its best looking state. 
Uh, Golden Sun games on the GBA, love those games. Uh, the Year of Luigi uh, Club Nintendo statue, which is right here. Um, some Wii U stuff, my Wii Mini, which I don't think I've ever actually used. The Golden Nunchuck, which was a um, another Club Nintendo piece. Uh, more Club Nintendo stuff here. Uh, a couple soundtracks still sealed. The red 25th anniversary edition Wii. Some of my 3DS boxes. I actually don't even have this one anymore. I just kept the box. Uh, same with this Wii U. I just held onto the box. I unloaded those when they were still worth something. Another soundtrack here from Club Nintendo. Uh, Bravely Default 1 and 2 special editions. Here's some of the recent McDonald's toys. I know that there was different ones in different countries, so you might see one that you didn't have or one that I'm missing, but these are, this is the total set for Canada. These are my boxes for some of my other handhelds. Um, 2DS. The boys use the 2DSs quite regularly. Uh, another, um, this is another Club Nintendo piece. Really nice pin set that came out a few years back. I really missed that Club Nintendo stuff. A couple boxed Wii remotes, those special ones that came, edition ones, and I think they came out with a bunch more than this too. Uh, the McDonald's Mario Kart toys, an old calendar, another uh, black Wii U. My Virtual Boy, there's a Super Nintendo box back there I totally forgot about. The last issue of Nintendo Power, my Virtual Boy is a bit of a mess here. I uh, am going to pull this out. I think I'm actually going to bring this into work for people to try out. My Donkey Kong Kongas. Here's the uh, power pad for the NES. Um, I'll show you guys some of my NES boxes. There's more Super Nintendo boxes down here. Nothing too great in there. Some decent NES boxes. I don't really collect um, complete stuff. I mean, if I find it complete, that's great, but I don't actually actively seek out boxes and manuals. Some of my Super Nintendo games, don't know how well you'll be able to see those. Um, you can see all the games I have in my collection. Actually, you can just Google CJR and my uh, collector's app profile comes up. Um, I had a lot of people ask me, here's some good stuff here, Breath of Fire, Yoshi's Island, Donkey Kong Country, Mario RPG, Illusion of Gaia, Secret of Evermore. Doom. I had a lot of people ask me what um, program I use on my phone to catalog my games. It's CLZ Games. It's a $15 app. Well worth it. Um, I've been using it for like eight years. There's my boxed N64, my Earthbound in a custom case. The Donkey Kong set, Super Nintendo, my action set. Picked up this really cool um, N64 clock radio at a garage sale for like a dollar. It's in great shape, works great. Super Nintendo controller. So this is a bit of a mess here. Uh, if anybody knows anything about these, I think these are pretty uncommon. I think they may have been like trophies for Nintendo events or something. I don't really know. Sorry, I'm looking at it myself, not showing you guys. I think they're pretty uncommon. I got these in a trade a few years back. They're pretty interesting because they have name and high score, so I don't know what these are from. If anybody knows, let me know in the comments below. Uh, here's my GameCube stuff. I would love to have the orange GameCube. I picked up these uh, at a garage sale too, Mario Tennis Hammers. Need to find a place for these uh, Xenoblade Chronicles 1 and 2 special editions. And this also could use some reorganizing. Here's my fantastic N64 set. Every color here. I don't have the uh, Pokemon one or the gold one, which aren't technically part of aren't part of the fantastic. My uh, SNES Classic, Super Fam or Famicom Classic, and Super Famicom Classic. There's the NES Classic. I love the Japanese uh, Super Famicom. Picked this up, I got this for pretty cheap too, so decided to grab it. I don't actually have a uh, Famicom, actual Famicom system, so. There's the stupid scope up there. Absolutely hate that thing. A pretty cool promo box for Mario 3 on the GBA. Control set for the SNES, control deck, Super Nintendo, or NES. 
Here's some of my colored N64 controllers. There's Link, also known as Alfred, if you guys remember that. Andrew used to always call him Alfred. Uh, I gotta show you guys this. This is a Super Shooting Watch by Hudson Soft. I picked this up at a swap meet. Um, I wanna say like, I paid like five or 10 bucks for this. But really cool thing to kind of keep an eye out if you're at a swap or a retro game show or something like that. Um, basically, it it tracks how many, how fast and how many times you can push a button in a certain time. Um, I don't know if it's actually set up right now, but basically it checks, it tests your rapid fire skill. See? It'll track how fast you can push, how many pushes you can get in 10 seconds. There's a whole bunch of different uh, ways to do it, but really cool piece. The Super Shooting Watch by Hudson Soft. So 59 times in 10 seconds. Um, kind of great for practicing your shmup skills. Really cool piece. Uh, some handhelds here. Game Boy Colors. The usual stuff. All the colors of the rainbow. Uh, a couple Game Boy Pockets. None of these are modded. Um, GBAs. Just every color. My boxed Game Boy. Game Boy Printer, which I still have to actually use. I gotta pull that out sometime with my camera and print out some pictures. I actually have an extra extra roll of paper somewhere also. This is a special edition, I believe, was this the one? I think this came out at Ze in Zellers in Canada. There's a Target one in the States that says Target on it, I believe. But this, I believe, is a Zellers one. Um, yeah, so GBAs, GBA box is a bit of a mess. Here's the GB Boy Color, which is a pretty decent uh, Game Boy Color, backlit Game Boy Color from China. I now have my proper backlit Game Boy Color from uh, Jelly Belly Customs. My um, original DS is here. Now I got rid of, I put, I put a whole bunch of these DS's actually in these boxes here. So I have a pretty extensive DS collection. Um, they're just so cheap. I get them for nothing at garage sales. Uh, these would be like some of the first things that I would get rid of if I was ever paring down my collection. I should show off the two uh, Pokemon Game Boys here. Both found at garage sales. Both those guys. Some boxed GBAs. My Game Boy Micro, which I think I found for like 60 bucks in a classified ad. Uh, boxed and complete. Pretty cool little system. Uh, my pathetic game and watch collection right here. Uh, I think I paid like 20 bucks for this. This is a really good deal. Really love this thing. Uh, this is the Versa, Versus, Micro Versus system. I don't think these are technically considered uh, game and watch. But man, I would love to have more of these. Here's the one from Club Nintendo. My Power Glove. Is there any games in there or no? NES game case, the Quick Shot 12? Is that my Roman numerals right? 12? Or were there 12 of those? Uh, NES Advantage. Um, what's this called again? I forget what this guy's called. NES Max. A couple like peripherals for the NES. Uh, the Game Genie back there. Here's some of my boxes for N64 games. My Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness GameCube. We've got the multi-tap for the um, SNES from Hudson Soft or Hudson, uh, basically for Bomberman. Uh, my Mario Kart 7 slot cars, we pull that out once in a while. We've got Nintendo Collector's Edition Monopoly. Up top here we have two boxed, I think these are just the boxes actually. Donkey Konga and uh, Jungle Beat. My Super Game Boy up top here. See, I'm running out of space so I have to just stick things in random corners. Uh, the only import N64 game I own and really the only one you need to own. Uh, this is Sin and Punishment. Really fantastic game. It got a follow-up on the Wii. That was really good too. On Rails Shooter. Really good game. I'm hoping that if they uh, release an N64 Classic that they add this to it. Which would be fantastic. 
Um, my N64 collection, end labels from Zabo's Arcades. These are the best labels, end labels I've ever seen. Um, they stay on really well, really high quality. Zabo's Arcades, S-Z-A-B-O-S. -S. You can find them on Instagram also. Uh, 216 N64 games. I think I have another 10 on the way from JJ Games that I ordered actually. Oh, people asked about my shelving. Uh, I made these. There's a video on um, my channel. If you search the, if just look for the game room playlist, I did a series of videos on these shelves. Basically just a cheap piece of wood painted black and these metal strips were made by my dad. He was a sheet metal worker, welder. So he whipped these up, but you can just run a piece of wood across. That's what a lot of people, a lot of people do. Um, super low profile and they hold a ton of games. I think I paid a hundred bucks for these three and then there's two more huge ones over there beside the bubble hockey. Um, these guys here were like a hundred bucks alone, 120 I think. And they're smaller but I love the low profile. It takes up very little space. You can see how much like a bookshelf takes up here. So this system worked out really well and it's affordable. So yeah, 216 N64 games and then followed is my, probably one of my favorite collections I have. Uh, this is the NES collection, 465 NES games, like 95% of these found in the wild at garage sales or classified ads. A couple from swaps. I don't think I've ever got any from eBay. Here's a multi-cart from AliExpress. Just thought the label was cool. It's nothing spectacular. It's a decent multi-cart. I think it's like 30 bucks. This is the 2018 8-bit Christmas cartridge from Retro USB. Um, basically, it has all of the 8-bit um, XMS games on it from the last eight years, I think. And it displays the label on this LCD screen of the one you're playing at any particular time. Really cool. What else can I show you? Oh, my cool light here. I always forget to show this. They've re-released this. This was an Etsy purchase like, I don't know, seven years ago. Basically, you just tap the bottom and eventually. So really cool piece. I can't remember how much I paid for that, but it really fits well in the Nintendo Nook. Uh, the Nintendo Nook has kind of spilled out a little bit, so um, I'll just show you guys a little bit around the corner and I'll show you the rest of the Nintendo stuff in my next closer look at my main gaming area. But here is a Super Mario 3D World standee and the Moo Moo Farms Raceway picture. This is from Good Time Games in Waterloo, Ontario. Uh, local artist, I wish I knew her name because that's a great little picture. So yeah, that is the Nintendo Nook. Thank you guys so much for watching. Do me a big favor, if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button and uh, feel free to follow me on Instagram. Links in the description below. And until the next episode.